Hello and welcome to this space dedicated to helping you prepare for the TOEFL exam. This is the TOEFL preparation for the English language learning space. And I want to spend a few minutes here today talking about the flashcard feature. Today is not meant to go into a deep dive into flashcards. There are a lot of uh, websites, there are a lot of YouTube videos available if you want to get into the nuances of how to use flashcards within RimNote. But I would recommend that you create an account that you are signed into RimNote as you are navigating throughout this website so that you have the option of saving any of the documents, any of the information that you find here to your own personal account. So I wanted to talk about using the flashcard feature, not so much how to create your own flashcards, which you certainly can do within RimNote, but uh, simply how to use flashcards in this space uh, a lot of the documents here, you're going to have an option of accessing flashcards that relate to key terms uh, relevant to that particular document. Uh, so as an example here, if I go into parts of speech, you'll notice that I have some flashcards set up. And you can recognize flashcards by some kind of arrow, whether it's an arrow pointing to the left or the right or uh, to the left and right. In this case, you'll notice that there's an arrow pointing to the left, with in, which indicates that this type of flashcard here is going to present the definition, and you're going to be asked to include the word or the part of speech itself. So in this particular page, I have a list of parts of speech. And of course, you can scroll down and review it as you need to. But more importantly, at the top right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see this box. And if you click the, the drop-down arrow, you're going to see a lot of different options and how you can present flashcards. But just to keep it uh, simple here, if you want to access the flashcards for this particular page, you can select this box and you'll get the first flashcard. Now, in this case, again, we have presented the definition of the word and the question mark indicates what kind of answer it's looking for. So here in this case, we can put our answer and it will indicate if whether or not it's uh, correct or incorrect. And then below it has a series of options here to select based on your level of understanding for that particular term. Now what's important to realize here is if you don't enter exactly the correct answer, it will say uh, incorrect. So if I had put adjectives plural, it would have probably marked it incorrect. But what's more important is not so much if you get it correct or incorrect here, but your level of understanding, how you select these options that appear down here. Based on how you select these options, the uh, the algorithm will take that information into consideration as it is recycling those flashcards. So the flashcards that you have more issues or that you have more problems to um, to answer, that's going to dictate how often or how frequently you're going to receive those flashcards or or, uh, or or you know see those flashcards again. If you have a word that you completely forgot, it's going to wait until later, th later that day with the understanding that maybe you want to review that option, you want to review that word a little bit more before you, you receive it again. If it's something you partially recalled or recalled with effort, then you're likely to see it more frequently with the understanding that you, you kind of know it, but you need that frequency so that it reinforces it until you reach a term that you can recall very easily, and then the algorithm will then uh, assume that you pretty much have it and you may not see that word for a few days, like four days, for example. Okay, So basically you go through your flashcards here. I'm just, just for the sake of this example, I'm just going to click skip, and you go to the next flashcard and so on. So this is how I would uh, use any online space for your TOEFL preparation where you have flashcards. And uh, again, an easy way to indicate or find whether or not there are any 
flashcards for that particular page is number one, look at the top right hand corner of your screen. And two, throughout the text itself, anytime you see these arrows, uh, then that also indicates a flashcard. Also, if you go to the main space where it says flashcards, this will show the flashcards across your entire space. But I think for simplicity's sake, as you're going through uh, this space and you're going through the different uh, documents, all intended to help you prepare for the TOEFL exam, uh, you're likely to see different flashcards that are very specific to the areas here of uh, how you want to improve uh, your preparation. So this has been just a very quick overview of how to use flashcards for this space, TOEFL preparation for the English language learner. And uh, if you have any issues or questions specific about REMNote and you want to reach out to me, feel free to do so.